YouTube team, keep it clean. Ooh, that jersey gonna look kind of clean too. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Hollywood, he has officially made his 15 jersey a throwback. And he is switching to the number five. I guess it's just something in the water right now with the Ravens because I was just talking to one of my boys the other day who's a Rams fan. And I'm like, man, all y'all boys switching jerseys like that? I'm like, man, ain't, ain't no Ravens switching no jerseys. Everybody's sticking with the same numbers. But then Patrick Queen, he switched his jersey to six. Now Hollywood, he's switching his jersey to five. Deshaun Elliott wanted to switch to four, but Sam Cook said, nah, you good. You don't need it. I got it. I'll hold it down. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get the cat out of the bag. Let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room, shall we? Because I know y'all want to. Well, that elephant in the room is make sure you tell somebody you love them today. Make sure you tell somebody that you appreciate them. And I know some people are going to be upset about the jersey number and whatnot. But something that's far bigger than a jersey number is the love that you show to other people. So make sure y'all keep spreading that positivity. But to the jersey number, of course, everybody's going to be like, Flacco, 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 Flacco. And we love Flacco. We appreciated Flacco. But again, the NFL, it is a business. The Ravens are a franchise. And they do not, I repeat, they do not retire numbers. Now, they don't officially retire numbers. Now, we know nobody's going to get the number 52. We know that. We know nobody's going to get the number 20. Like, those numbers are locked. <clears throat> the keys thrown away is gone. Nobody is touching those numbers. While they're not officially retired, we know ain't nobody getting those. But besides that, oh, maybe 75. But besides that, everything is pretty much up for grabs. Everything is up for grabs. Jalen Ferguson even, he even flirted with the idea of wearing number 55. Like when, well, when he got drafted, he, he tweeted about it. He talked about it. He said, should I wear this number? Should I wear that number? Should I wear 55? And I was like, oh, okay, you want to do that? So, hey, anybody who feels like with Hollywood, with him wearing this number, like, oh, man, you wearing a number, and that's, that's Flacco's number. Flacco, he been long gone for a while. He's been gone for three years now. And we got to... We got to move on. We got to let it go. And again, it's, it's just a number. It's just a number. It's just a number on the back of a jersey. The bigger thing, the, the thing that's bigger than the number is the name. Who it is. Who's wearing it and how they perform. Now, he did say in his post, he said, hey, again, <laughs> back in that Cinco, for everyone who copped that 15, I love and appreciate you. And I will make that five worth it. So his words, not mine. He said he is going to make it worth it. And we know Hollywood last year, it started off a bit up and down. Remember the first game of the season? He had over 100 receiving yards in the first half alone. But then it got kind of shaky after that. Then, of course, he made his comments. And then he had some shaky games. But then he was like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He pressed the reset button. And playoff Hollywood was inbound. Because the Ravens playoffs, they started before the official NFL playoffs started. So Hollywood, he started showing out. And he started making more and more plays uh, throughout the end of the season. And then, of course, you know, in the playoffs, that's when Hollywood really does his thing. So I, I do expect him to take it up another notch this season. Especially, especially because of what he has around him. Because of what Lamar Jackson has around him. Because of who the Ravens offensive linemen have around him. I, I just expect him to take it up another notch. Because now, he'll, it won't be all eyes on him. When it comes to Ravens receivers, y'all already knew. It's all eyes on Hollywood. Get a corner, bump him, have a safety up over top. But now, you can do that. But then you got, you got Sammy Watkins. You got Sammy over there. And you know Greg Roman is going to make sure Sammy gets involved as well. But then, oh, you got Rashad Bateman. Oh, you got him over there. And you know, especially being a first-round pick, you know Greg Roman is going to have to get him involved. Oh, 
You got J.K. Dobbins, even though PFF ranked him the 26th running back, which makes no sense. But we talked about that earlier. But you got J.K. Dobbins over. You got Gus Edwards. You got Mark Andrews. You got Nick Boyle coming back. You got this offensive line, this reestablished offensive line. Ronnie Stanley, hopefully he'll be ready to go. Kevin Zeitler, the center, maybe Bozeman, whoever it might be. Then it's looking but by how if we got to judge it based off of the vibe over the past couple of weeks and it's looking like it's going to be Ben Cleveland at left guard. But we'll see. And then the right tackle, uh, hopefully rejuvenated Alejandro uh, Villanueva. Shout out to my guy, my guy Augusto. He corrected me on that name. I was saying Villanueva, but it's Villanueva. So, shout out. And my wife, she just corrected me in the background. She's listening to me record this video right now. So, shout out to my guy, Gusto. But anyway, it's a new look. New look. And again, uh, I know somebody had a question about the college rules. Like, what's going on? How do these players get to switch their numbers? Hollywood, he tweeted about it uh, last week. He sort of trolled everybody about it. But it seems like it was one of those uh, instances where there's a little bit of truth uh, un underneath the joke Because Last week or maybe about two weeks ago He tweeted that oh he, he changed his number to five And when he first tweeted that I was like nah No oh, no 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 He tweeted that he, he said he wants to start a GoFundMe He said he's going to start a GoFundMe So he could raise up $170,000 I believe So he could change his number To the number five and I believe that $170,000, that would be the amount of money he would have needed to pay in order to, because what the rule is, I believe, and anybody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you have to pay. You have to pay in order to have uh, your jersey number changed because you have to buy up uh, all the, you have to buy up a certain amount of jerseys that are out there in stock and whatnot uh, that have your previous number on there. You have to buy up those jerseys and then, boom. You can make the number change. Or if you don't want to do that, you could wait to the following year. Now, obviously, rookies, they don't have to do that since they're coming in. They're getting brand new numbers. Rookies can have any number they want. But for somebody that's been in the league, at least from last year, you have to pay to get any jerseys that you got out there. You got to pay them off and then you can change. So Hollywood, obviously, must have dipped into the bank account, whether he dipped into check-ins or savings or CD or whatever he got. He dipped into the bank account, and he got it out, and he made it happen. So, it's official now. New Jersey on the way. So, when everybody's down here for that uh, Miami Dolphins versus Florida Ravens game, and you see a bunch of fives uh, throughout um, Hard Rock Stadium, you may think, oh, oh that's a Flacco jersey? That's a Flacco? But on the back, it's going to say Brown. And then, in the back of the end zone, during the game, catching touchdowns, it's also going to say Brown. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. This new Jersey rule has taken a lot of people by storm. It's caught, it's caught a lot of people off guard. But it's just one of the NFLs, and it, even me. Me, I was, like, uh, I was like, I don't know about it at first, but now I'm like, okay, cool. It is what it is. And I think it's NFL's way of just allowing the players to have a little bit more fun. Because, you know, NFL, when it comes to fun, they let them have fun. They've been letting them dance a lot more over the past couple of years and whatnot, especially this past year. But they had to sort of cover up because there was no fans and whatnot. You know the drill. But I'm with it now. So team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And just like Hollywood is when it comes to that number 15 on the back of his jersey, I'm out. <laughs>